Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S-1 Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 13. Total disaster. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go ahead and declare NASA, the IAU, the ESA, and anyone in official astronomy's handling of Comet C-2012 S-1 Ison in the Public Relations Department as a total, absolute disaster. Fail. You guys fail across the board. What type of three-legged dog and pony show have you put in front of us? Who is running this clusterfunk media management kerplunk flunk? And now Ison is hidden behind the sun until September. We haven't gotten any real data, information, photographs from anyone in the publicly funded professional astronomy community since April. I mean, even Ree Richards says it's now out of sight and it's going through the asteroid belt and any minor disruptions there can have major effects, which I totally agree with. I mean, how many times have I said on my channel that sometimes space rocks bump into other space rocks, causing them to bump into other space rocks? And so if you've got a giant dirty snowball flying through a cloud of space rock, isn't that going to F.S. Up, G, dang. I mean, the OR cloud and the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belts are pretty mysterious things. I mean, I would love to have a video of an actual fully mapped video fly through of the asteroid belt. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be awesome? But hey, since government science does not have the technology to give that information to we the people, we just get stuck with singular crappy photographs coming out like what, once every three months? Oh yeah, this is a giant event that could inspire and amaze all of mankind. But we've decided to stick our head in the sands for months. Why? Well, we can't tell you that. This is disgusting, ridiculous, and gross incompetence. At this point, I'm just gonna guess that Congress and the White House are running NASA because I can't imagine anyone else who could have failed so spectacularly other than outside of the White House and Congress. No one is as good at mishandling, misrepresented, and ending in a total foobar, cluster fudge, cracker cake than that. I mean, come on. It has been 75 days since we got our Hubble photograph, and now, come on. Tyson is going to be hiding behind the sun until September. So amateur astronomers who NASA laid in the hands of, you know, keep an eye on this thing because we're busy doing what God only knows. Now amateur astronomers have been taken out of the picture. So from now until September, we have only to rely on NASA who's had their thumbs up their butt with, I'm sure, some billion dollar highfalutin gold plated gloves. But regardless, WTF are you guys doing? Doing. Like, you really can't give us anything? You remind me of the one time I had a girlfriend and we lived together. And during that last year, she had a million excuses for why she couldn't give me anything. Man, and that drove me crazy. And you were giving me flashbacks to that. Because it is ridiculous, ridiculous, Like, what is up your butts? What is your friggin' problem, man? Like, a simple photograph. And I get all the turd face answers of like, oh, they can't turn cameras. Or it's so hard. Or, well then, why did you tell us? This is going to be the comet of the century. You still haven't given us answers like, okay, if it's a normal-sized nucleus, normal-sized makeup, what makes it even have the potential to be comet of the century? And now you got all your, your lizards and your reptiles and your monkeys and your shields out downplaying this thing, saying, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's probably going to be dud. It's probably going to break up. It's probably going to be no big deal. Like, the only real information you gave us was the double dusting, and then you went silent. S-I-L-E-N-T. Nothing. And you then depend on all your lackeys to, like, give us information. So we haven't gotten jet crap on this friggin' comet. All we know is that five AUs out, it was super bright. So, you guys just totally failed, man. Like, fail, fail. You crapped your pants. And now we have this thing which has a three to four mile nucleus. I mean, if this brand new comet is burning along at 200,000 miles an hour with a nucleus of three to four miles wide, a 50,000 long mile long coma, and a 400,000 mile long tail, isn't it gonna blow through the asteroid belt and knock some crap out of there? I mean, that is a serious concern. But it seems like maybe me and only Reed Richards are concerned about this. NASA must be partying it up or doing God knows what the hell is going on. So what happens, so WTF happens when a giant mile wide dirty snowball flies through an asteroid belt of space rock. I mean NASA, you guys are the ones who say words like innovate and inspire. Well, you inspire me to be pissed off that you guys have mishandled this thing so badly and are being so freaking quiet. I feel like you work for the Securities and Exchange Commission and, or the Federal Reserve and you're just giving us wonky crap to make us spin around in circles. You guys should be fired. 
fired, man. Whoever's running this dog and pony show should be fired. Come on, Charles Bolden. I expect better things from you, bro. You are a Marine. WTF is going on. You guys started this. There's no doubt about it with all your announcements of 10 times brighter than the full moon in January. And you've been fumbling the ball ever since. Can we get a new quarterback in here, please? You know what? Come to think about it, we've got big gaping holes in knowledge about our inner solar system. Venus, Mercury, the moon. You'd think in the last 20 years of our combined technology, we could land 100 robots on the moon with cameras. We could land 100 robots on Mercury and Venus with cameras. And then we could be able to treat them like a Walmart parking lot where we could see everything at all times every day but no for some reason we can't even get close to information like that they treat us like we're a bunch of friggin five-year-olds like that they're the dudes in apocalypto who are like pointing at the solar eclipse going oh it's it's magic well i'm kind of fed up with this crap man i mean you really think people are that scared of the truth anyway so for now i'm just tying i'm tying common ice into the, to the financial market because if there's one thing that makes me think that there could be some type of impending solar system disaster it's the rate at which central banks are printing money at a damn near infinite light speed level like as we watch them print money it seems to correlate with common Ison getting here i could be wrong maybe common Ison is just the paul revere ahead of whatever's coming next but this is all pretty foobar dude you guys are screwing up now you got all your monkeys and your dogs out saying that this is not gonna be that big of a deal we might not even see it it's gonna break up it's gonna be no big deal so you pretty much bought yourself two months of nothing we now have two month total blackout i'm pretty sure NAS is going to be much like Amy Mainzer's tweet, and none of them are going to be geared my way with good information. Damn it. Anyway, so yeah, if this one ain't that funny, I apologize because I'm mad. Because this is ridiculous, man. This is flat out ridiculous. And to make matters even more donkulously dinosaur crappy, NAS even has a sponsored Comet Ison observing campaign. What is that about? You have an observing campaign, so you, you cannot show it to us, so you cannot observe it. Like, this is just colossally crappy, man. Campaign goals, you had to monitor this comet and not show any of the information to the public, um, whether it's going to double dust us or cause thousands of asteroids to rain down, meteors to rain down on Earth. You know, dud, whatever. This is just, it's, it's redonkulous, man. You guys are severely disappointing. Must every government function go straight into the crapper?